Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. There's a few things I want to talk about this week. The first one is a bit serious. It's uh, balloon releases. Um, as you may or may not know, we uh, do not support balloon releases. If somebody tells us they, they want to buy balloons or helium or whatever for a balloon release, we don't sell to them. It's a decision we made a few years ago. Um, the main reason being it's littering. I think it was Matt Lewis that uh, I was talking to him, and he recently said, um, if you, if you take a bag of balloons or a box of balloons and tip them out in the street, would that be considered considered litter, littering? And he said, yeah, of course it would be. And I could just imagine a community officer chasing after you. Oi, what are you doing? However, release them into the sky and it's not considered littering. Well, actually it is. And that's the main reason we have decided not to support balloon releases. And we, uh, and it's, it's not great for the environment. You know, you can argue what you like about it breaking down as fast as an oak leaf. It's still gonna be months. Um, and do animals get harmed? Some people say yes, some people argue no. I'm not really gonna get into any of that. You know, if, if you support them or you don't support them, but hey, we, can, we could talk about that all the time, all day, all night. What I wanted to say, there was a BBC article um, on BBC Breakfast this week, and it was talking about balloon releases. Apparently a horse has been killed. I didn't see the article, I did read a bit about the horse. Apparently it was something to do with balloon ribbon that killed the horse. But what I did notice is when I did a search for BBC Breakfast balloon release and the Facebook uh, post came up and I looked at that, I, I actually commented on a few of them. Um, negative, negative, negative comments about balloon releases. And if you agree or disagree, it, it really doesn't matter. However, what became very, very clear to me is the majority of people that were commenting they just don't support balloon releases. The public do not support balloon releases. They, for whatever reason, if they think it's killing hundreds, thousands, millions of animals, if they think it's wasting helium that uh, should be put into MRI scanners, which isn't the case, it's a different type of helium, um, then, you know, whatever the perception is or whatever the reason behind it, but the perception, general public, is it's a bad thing. So my question to you is, if it's got such a negative perception, do you really want to be associated with that negativity? So yes, you, if somebody comes in, do a balloon release, say, yeah, yeah, I'll do that, and you make a nice 500 pounds out of it, say, um, that's great. But what you don't see is the 10 people that might have been going to use you, but then somebody says, oh no, they're, they're company that do balloon releases, don't support that. Um, and it's intangible, you'll never know. But my feeling, my gut feeling, is that balloon releases are just bad for business. I don't think it's going to benefit any of us um, doing a balloon release just because of... And I think it's an age thing as well. I think the younger generation, they're far more aware of environmental issues. This is seen as a negative thing. It's, it's only going to... I don't think they'll exist. I, I, if, if they ever get banned, I don't know but um, I don't think people will be doing them five years from now. So it's just a little thought, a little thought for the day. Just give it some consideration. Do you think balloon releases are really worth the reputation of your business? Anyway, serious bit done. Let's talk about some new products. We had a lot, I mean a lot of new products in the last couple of months, in the last six weeks really, since Spring Fair. And it's not even six weeks, by me, what is it, four or five weeks? So it's, um, yeah, we've had a lot. I think on the new product section, we've got more than 200 items. I've got to apologize for the new product section, by the way. It's, I'd recommend that you scroll down, scroll down, keep scrolling, because the way we put the products on our stock system that then upload to the to the website, sometimes it puts them in a, a different order and it's not, it doesn't look the prettiest, but we just happen to have a lot of new products at the moment. So you might get a part of a range, one part of the new product section, and then another part of that range further down. So scroll down, scroll, just slowly scroll down. We're adding a lot at the moment every single week. So it's worth scrolling down. Anyway, Let's start with this. This is, if you watched BMTV a couple of weeks ago, we had the guys from Creative Party come in, Mike and Holly Forder, father and daughter. They had an argument on screen about who was the best cook. It was quite amusing. Um, but this is the star balloon that they talk about. Now the star balloons with stars on. So how awesome is that? Now we've got the full color range of those. The one thing I would say is this one, it looks red, doesn't it? However, the packaging is not a good representation of the balloon. It is supposed to be that, that magenta color, but the packaging is red. So just be aware of that. Make sure you read descriptions wherever you buy those from. It's not a red balloon. Um, right, now this. Fluffy balls. Yes, 
This is a fluffy pink decorative ball. They do, they come in white and pink. This is how they come. They come in packs of three. They're like this, folded up. And all you do, you open them up like this, and then you just, it's made of tulle. You start pulling the tulle out and then you play with it and adjust it until you get that. I really like these because I think they soften a scene. Um, you've got the, the more intense color in the middle. And as you go out, the transparency comes through and it, it just makes it a, a softer sort of scene. Not like that where you've got very bold colors. So as, as you've heard at the, on the Spring Fair show and Holly and, and Mike talking about it the other week, um, metallic, glitter, sparkly stuff, very, very on vogue, very 2017. So I'm going to start with these because I think these are awesome. These are table covers that are metallic. So you've got the light sort of gold color there and you've got silver, but they, they look metallic. They look like they're metal. Um, so I've not opened them up because I wasn't too sure how they would look on the table on, on camera, but they're metallic. That's, that's awesome. Now, the other thing that's metallic, these plates. Now, these are the um, Sparkle and Shine. And whenever I read that, I always want to start singing Sparkle and Shine. Has anybody else seen Nativity? It's a good film. Um, you don't have to have kids. It's a, it's a funny film. Mr. Poppy is hilarious. Anyway, um, Sparkle and Shine. And there, there is a warning on the back of here. Do not microwave. Okay, that's probably because there's metallic bits on there. So you don't want it to go boom, do you? Now, speaking of boom, we've got these over here. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, that was a good, good, good link. Boom, zap, pow, and wham. Now, these are called... Superhero slogans. The great thing about those is they will go with Batman, go with Superman, go with Spider-Man, go with whoever you like. It's all superhero-esque. So we've got that in. Come down here, the, the pink and black and the gold and black range from Amscan, the sparkling range. I talked about the bunting the other week, about the pink bunting, and we've got it in the, the gold one as well. Um, this just adds to that range. So you've got the plates, got the table covers, got the napkins, and it's just such a lovely range. It's going really well, and the balloons are just people are going crazy for those balloons. Again, they're metallic plates. Don't want to put those in the microwave either, but a great range. Now, glitter as well. We've got some glitter ta table decorations, cake decorations, sorry, not table decorations. And these are from Creative as well. So we've got happy birthday in one in silver and gold. We've got this banner of it. It's, it's a cake topper, but it's like two straws and then a little mini bunting in the middle that says one on it. And then we've got the bigger sort of bunting with the word one in the middle as well. Again, all glittery. Very 2017. And here we've got Bing. Bing is a rabbit. It's a, a children's TV show. We've got the balloon, getting asked for the balloon a lot. And um, yeah, very popular. I watched it the other day for the first time and I can confirm it is a children's TV show. There's not a lot more to say about that. Uh, and then over here we have a fun watermelon and a fun pineapple. I saw Holly Willoughby on a TV show last week. I can't remember what the TV show was, but she was wearing pineapples. So you can't get more right now than Holly Willoughby, can you? So there you go. Pineapples, very trendy. And of course, here we have, I've brought the G and the K, the rose gold 16 inch North Star letters. Um, we've not got them all in yet. We've got most of them and the ones we've got are flying out the door, but the rest of them should be here soon, along with the Amscan round and heart-shaped balloons. They should be here very, very soon. There is a chance that some are actually in the building now. I'm not 100% sure, but they will be here soon. Now, we just had Mandy come in from Party Creations. Mandy, hello. Thank you for your tip. And now I'm going to tell you what Mandy's tip is. Manufacturers, you may want to listen to this. Mandy suggested that somebody make a rose gold weight and rose gold ribbon. If any of you manufacturers out there are already doing that, please let us know. And if you're not already doing it, well, get a move on. Mandy wants them. So uh, there you go. Good tip, Mandy. And Mandy also told me that she sometimes saves up her BMTV viewings and she has a BMTV binge. I quite like that phrase binging on BMTV. I think it's a good thing to do. Anyway, um, yes, thank you, Mandy, for coming in and uh, placing an order with us. And have I covered everything? I think I've covered everything on the table. Yes, I have. But there's loads more on the new product section. Just go to the new products. We're adding every single week. So see what's on Vogue, see what's, what's come in on a regular basis. Right, the last thing I want to talk about. Did you see our BMTV special, if you like, our BMTV announcement on Monday? We are running our very first prize draw, Qualitex Pioneer, uh, very kindly donated a ticket to their Qualitex World Tour, their Q Tour. 
here in the UK. It's a two-day training course in May and uh, it's got Alberto Falcone who is a great great balloon artist and he will be doing a lot of stuff including distortion you know where you do different techniques and balloons inside balloons and make funny shapes and stuff like that. So he will be there and there's lots of that. Just, just watch that, that video that, that we did on Monday announcing this and to enter it's, it's worth just under 300 pounds this price and to enter it's really really simple. The first thing you've got to do is subscribe to our Balloon Market YouTube channel, BMTV. So if you're already subscribed, you're halfway there. And the other thing is leave a comment on the competition video. So the one where Mark and I talk about the competition, leave a comment down below on there. Not on this video, but on that video. And um, that's it. You'll be in with a chance of winning. We're going to do the draw live at Qualitex Pioneer headquarters on the 4th of April. You've got until midnight on the 3rd of April to enter. You probably want to do it before then. So really, really good prize. But go and watch that video and find out a little bit more about it. Right, that's it. Oh, question of the week. Competition, what is the best prize you have ever won? Leave a comment below on this video or on Facebook and let us know. Right, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye.